You know, I think one of the most amazing moments I've had as a father was watching my daughter win a gold medal. And then seeing her standing on the highest podium, hand on her heart, and singing her country's anthem. As I saw tears in her eyes and the music ringing in the back, I reflected on all the work that went into that moment. All the hours, all the tennis lessons, all the tournaments, seeing it all pay off. It's indescribable. And she's obviously accomplished a lot in her career, but honestly, what I'm most proud of is the person she's become. If you know Bethany, then you know she just lights up a room when she walks in. Her contagious laugh, her attitude, her positivity, her work ethic, it's all impeccable. It's obvious she's become an exceptional player, but she's also developed herself personally to become even a greater person. And I think that's something that's overlooked, if not completely non-existent in junior tennis. This idea where developing the person is the priority, even a priority over developing the player. You see, right now there's no emphasis on the mental component, or the character development, or the personal growth of the athlete. You know, all the stuff that will actually equip our children for success in life. I grew up playing only a little bit of tennis. I remember taking a few tennis lessons as a kid. But once my oldest daughter really started showing a passion and a talent for the sport, I definitely took more interest in learning more about it. Like most tennis parents, I felt way steep in this muddy swamp we call junior tennis. And yes, it was fun, and there were great times, but often I just felt a little lost. I felt like almost, even if I tried my best, I was bound to make mistakes that wouldn't be good for Bethany's tennis. And I worried about that. And that always put a lot of pressure on the situations. And really, my thoughts toward this whole thing was, and this is what I tell parents now is, ask yourself, Ask yourself, what do you really want for your son or daughter in tennis? Do you want them to just be good at smacking tennis balls? Or do you want tennis to be the vehicle for them to grow and develop as a player and as a person? With the amount of time, energy, and money that junior tennis requires, I made the decision early on. I would do everything in my power to help Bethany use tennis as a vehicle to succeed not only on the court, but in all areas of her life. And I know deep down, this is what you as a parent want for your child. The challenge is, how do you do that? How do you do that? Well, that's the right question. And the answer to that is the reason we're changing junior tennis. This is a movement that parents left and right all over the country are latching onto. And I don't want to make any parents that's listening to this feel like it's too late or feel overwhelming that it's going to be complicated. Really, it's the complete opposite. There's only upside here. When Bethany was younger, I had a general understanding of higher level training and the importance of personal growth. But believe me, I wasn't a super parent and I definitely wasn't a super tennis parent. But I did one thing right. And I have to say this one thing is a major reason why we're here right now. I did my best to get around people who had the knowledge and the experience. People who were willing to share their wisdom with me. I knew this. This is how I could give Bethany and all the other children the best opportunity to succeed. One man in particular I was lucky enough to learn from was Mark McCormick. Now, if you don't know who this man is, he was the founder and CEO of IMG, the world's largest sports management company. Mark managed some of the world's top athletes in a bunch of different sports. 
After IMG sighing Beth, Mark took a special interest and managed her personally. He and his wife Betsy were even kind enough to have her actually live at their house for about a year or so, which allowed me to spend a lot of time with Mark. Now I learned a lifetime of knowledge from him. One thing I remember Mark telling me was the importance of an athlete's character. This is one of many things that stuck with me. And I can go on and on about him and many other special people I was lucky enough to meet and learn from, and all the unique situations that revealed these development secrets that ended up changing my life. But in short, what I learned is that the athletes that truly succeed, the athletes that win at their sport and win at life after their sport, those athletes train differently. Their training priorities are different. And this kind of answers your question. What does CP, what does our online academy complete performance do? Well, to be honest, we're changing junior tennis. We do things differently. Our athletes train differently. And this is why. There is a significant hole in the current junior tennis training model. I want you to think about something. And everyone that's listening to this, seriously, I want you to think about something. Take a second here and think about the areas your son or daughter is struggling with in tennis. The things that hold them back from playing their best. Think about it. Now, some of the more common answers I get are, can't play in the match the way I play in practice, lousy attitudes, no motivation, confidence is low, little focus, mental breakdowns, emotional meltdowns, nervousness, playing afraid, playing timid, work ethic. Most can relate to at least a few of those. Now think about this. How many of those areas are being worked on in their tennis training? That's the problem. That is the hole in the current model of tennis development. Hours upon hours of hitting forehands, backhands, serves, and volleys. Working at becoming a better tennis player. But what about the person? I mean, it's the person that has to stay motivated. It's the person that has to focus. It's the person that gains confidence, develops their work ethic, develops a positive self-image, overcomes their fears, stabilizes their emotions, creates a positive attitude. It's the person. It's the person that handles the pressure in the big moments. And it's the person that grows in their capability to succeed in life. That's what you want for your child, right? Success on the court, success off the court. Here at CP, we develop high-performance athletes, yes. Training the player on the court is vital to succeed in tennis. But more importantly, we develop high-performance people. I mean, that's why you put them in tennis, right? You want them to compete hard and strive for their goals in tennis. But you also want it to be a vehicle to grow and develop as a person so they can be capable human beings in the arena of life. This idea of prioritizing the person is changing junior tennis because it works. The beauty of this movement is in the simplicity of it. I can talk about all the goal balls, all the tournaments, all the trophies our athletes win, but that pales in comparison to all the emails, texts, all the phone calls we get from parents on a daily basis saying we changed their child's life. That after 30 days, their child was a different person, more capable, more confident, more motivated, more equipped on the practice court and on the match court and beyond the court. That's our definition of success. Well, exactly. That's our philosophy. What more would you want as a parent than to have your child, your gifted child, an aspiring junior athlete, be on the path to certain success? How can we be so certain? Well, look, there's a reason why 100% of our high school age athletes get Division I scholarships. The path to certain success means investing in the athlete as a player and as a person. This produces trophy-raising champions on the court, top-of-the-class students in school, 
and successful world changers in life. Sometimes we make the assumption that there's not a better way to do something. We make the assumption that you have to follow the current model development. What everyone else is doing, you have to do hours and hours on the court and traveling to tournament after tournament. But the bottom line is, if you do what everyone else does, you're going to get what everyone else gets. And frankly, most juniors don't get to reach their potential. They underperform consistently. They're unmotivated. They're frustrated. They get burnt out. And they don't reach their goals. This current model is obviously a failing formula. What I realize is you don't have to continue to make that assumption anymore. You don't have to follow the old failing formula. We've made it our mission to make things simple, to get the practical solutions that parents want and need. Most tennis parents, they don't know they can make a small change that will yield enormous results in their child's tennis and in their child's life. My encouragement to other tennis parents would be this, you're not far away. I know it sounds like a cliche, but you're closer than you think. This junior tennis thing is more simple than you think. It's more simple than you're being told. Make the decision that I made when I was in your shoes. Get around the people that have been down the journey and make developing the person a priority in their tennis training. I've gotten the question several times from parents asking, if I had to start over and do this whole junior tennis thing again, what would I do? And obviously there's a ton of different ways I could answer that question. But not too long ago, I really thought about it. And I said to myself, wouldn't it be great if instead of just telling them what to do, I could show them, like I could actually outline what I would do if I was in their shoes, instead of just giving a quick generic answer, I could effectively share the knowledge and experience I was blessed enough to receive. Imagine that. The secrets that help my daughter and hundreds of other juniors we work with elevate their game and elevate their life. What if I could just give that to tennis parents? That got me incredibly excited. I mean, tennis is tough. The decisions parents have to make have high stakes. that cost a lot of money. It takes a lot of time. Your child's development, their success in tennis, it greatly depends on those decisions. So it kind of started with this question, what would I do if I started over with Bethany? And then it turned into this like an obligation that I need to share with tennis parents. Truly, what helped my daughter and all the other athletes we work with succeed? And that's why we created the ultimate resource for tennis parents. Something to simplify the complicated, fill in the gaps, and get the tough questions answered. Real practical solutions for parents. And really, we were just trying to give back to the tennis community. Little did we know that once we released this online resource for tennis parents, it turned into a full-blown movement. A movement to fix this broken thing we call junior tennis development. We train a mindset. You guys know what you're doing. <laughs> you can turn that frustration, you can turn that challenge into this is opportunity and I'm grateful for the opportunity. It makes the journey easier. You realize that you are not the only parent in the same situation. It makes you feel as a parent, makes you feel better. Believing in yourself, having high expectations. You'll be, you'll be enlightened. I would not think twice about doing A recipe that covers so many aspects, it's very valuable. It all starts with kind of centralizing the plan. Well, now I can do it. I have a blueprint to doing something. There's an actual program, a plan set in place that. And the backbone of this movement is empowering parents with knowledge and insights. The purpose of this online resource, Tennis Made Simple, is to help you give your aspiring son or daughter the best opportunity to succeed on the court and off the court. What I would say to any parent is, junior tennis is changing. It's a no-brainer. Join the movement. Join the movement. Get on the path to certain success. And the first step of that path for you can be this online resource, Tennis Made Simple. You know, get on the path that's going to help your son or daughter succeed. Get out of the broken system of mindlessly hitting tennis balls. Get on the path that's creating champions, on the court and off the court. The time is now. Your child's potential, it's waiting.